Hello, hello, it's Kitty. Proud to be your thought organizer coming to you live on a very pleasant day in Atlantic Canada. Um, a little on the, uh, just a little on the chilly side, but you know, it is November, what is it, November 15th? Good heavens, where does the time go? <laughs> Thanksgiving around the corner and then the Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay, we're doing fine, but, and while we're doing fine, you just remember that if it's a cloudy day where you are, whether there are clouds in the sky or clouds in your brain, just remember, you can reach up through those clouds and there is blue sky and clarity above those clouds. Trust me on this, it's a review. <laughs> Might be a bit of a reach for you to hit the, hit the blue sky through the clouds, but definitely I know that you can put, uh, reach through the clouds in your brain and achieve clarity. I know you can. And sometimes clutter, physical clutter, can be part of that, of those clouds. And that's what we do at Declutter the Brain. Excuse me, I think I'm, I'm not coming down with a sniffle. I am going to tell myself I am not coming down with a sniffle. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I was just thinking a few minutes ago about how I was deathly ill with COVID exactly a year ago, so maybe that's what's in my brain. So, a lot of what's in your brain uh, affects, it manifests itself. So, this is what we're going to do is think, I am not going to be sick. So, don't forget about those clouds. Just reach through them and you will achieve clarity. And if you need a if you need a hand doing that, direct message me, or we'll give you another step to take in a few minutes. Now, who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com. What do I do? I work with entrepreneurs to organize their space and streamline their thoughts so that they can focus on attracting and serving premium clients and maxing out their productivity. Yes. Now. Uh, I do, excuse me, I do have over 20 years experience in helping people to gain control over their surroundings and through that I have developed my step-by-step -step one system which has helped me and my clients go from organized, no not from organized, to organized, from overwhelmed and struggling to organized and thriving. Hmm? Does that sound like something that, uh, oh yeah, yeah? Organized and thriving? Yeah, tell me more, sister. All right, well, I'll tell you what, you just hold that thought, and we will give you your next one step to take in about 10 minutes from now, not even, so hold tight. Uh, all right, this week we are talking brand new content. This week we are talking about, uh, in our De uh, Declutter Your Tech series, we are talking about your phone. Now, <laughs> phone, uh, cell phone, a.k.a. leash. You know, I was looking for some cartoons to post on Friday, and there's, there's a good one. Hello, Michael. Welcome, welcome. Uh, there's a good one. It brought back memories of, um, uh, of phones with actual cords on them. Good heavens to Betsy. Uh, hello, BP. Hi, nice, uh, welcome, welcome. Um, and yeah, now um, a, a friend of mine years ago, he said that a friend of his called this, his cell phone a leash. Uh, they were both property managers and yeah, once the tenants found that they could get hold of them via this wonderful new invention called a cell phone and text messaging, oh my God, the floodgates opened. Uh, <laughs> but no matter whether you call it your phone companion or your leash, one, one, one thing is for sure, it's here to stay. Now, many people will, they have to have the latest phone with all the bells and whistles and gadgets. Even if they just got a new one last year, they got the i13, the I now they have to have the i14. Oh wait, there's the i14 XJ7. What is this, a Jaguar? <laughs> now, I, on the other hand, avoid buying new phones like the plague, okay? Uh, the reason, now, the reason for this is because 
I'm going to have to learn to, um, hello, thank you for joining. I'm going to have to learn all of the new bells and whistles. And frankly, I don't have the patience or time. So I did buy one and I'm slowly learning it. And we're recording as we speak on my old phone, just it, because this new one, I have trouble getting to the home screen on it. I have to look it up. <laughs> anyway, my point is, eventually you will have to replace your phone. They just basically, I, uh, they design it this way. Because of the constant updates to technology and my maps weren't even working. And nothing quite like being in, oh geez, where was I? Uh, I think it was Los Angeles. Uh, a couple months ago, and my maps were, yeah, there we go, thank you, Michael. Um, yeah, my maps weren't working, and there I am at LAX trying to get an Uber, and I, my maps aren't working, and the Uber app isn't working. Well, this isn't good, okay? So I knew that I had to get a new phone. Now, also, uh, I ran out of storage, and sometimes no matter what you do, you cannot clear... Uh, you cannot clear out all the crap on your phone. We're going to talk more about that tomorrow. Um, but it, 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 the more stuff you have, <laughs> yes, I did say the word crap, the more crap you have on the phone, crapola, that you have on the phone, it drains your battery faster. It weakens your battery over the long term. And uh, another thing is, uh, well, of course, it takes forever to find things unless you have it organized. That's that's on Friday, we'll talk about that. And it takes up not only uh, physical space, but mental space and ghosts. There are ghosts from your past in there. So what we're trying to do this week is help you to uh, decide what to declutter and how to do it with a minimum of overwhelm. Okay, so hang with me. This week is only phone specific. We're not going to be talking about emails or Facebook messages, which you can get on your computer. Only phone apps. Okay, so where to start? We talked about this yesterday. Where to start is photos. Photos and videos take up, okay, you, it, uh, this is nothing new to you. It, it takes up the most amount of storage. In fact, if you look at the, where, the, where it says storage, um, you'll see that uh, probably about 50% of your, 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 what you've used up is photos, all right? So you want to get rid of those. You can either put them on, and now I, arguably this is time consuming and frankly not one of my favorite texts. Although if I'm overtired and I just need something to zone into, I'll do it then. Mm -hmm. A little tip. Um, you can uh, you can put them on the computer and delete them as you go. Now me, I'm a bit of a double double thinker, and I'm afraid to do that. And I'm glad I did because I almost threw away, deleted a headshot that I needed. So you want to be careful about this. But if you just get rid of the obvious junk first, you know you took a photo of your thumb by mistake. Get rid of the obvious junk first and then you can do the rest of it slowly. Now, uh, caveat, huge caveat is, well, I deleted all these photos and I still don't have any more storage. Okay. Remember, go to your library on your phone app and go to scroll down and you'll see recently deleted. Delete all of that. Because even though you've deleted your photos, they're still on your phone for another 30 days. So delete the deleted thought. Delete the recently deleted, if you follow. All right, so today uh, we are talking about, what are we talking about today? Aha, contacts, people. Now, here's where the ghosts thing really comes in. I don't know how many contacts I have on my phone. I think it's, it's around 600, and many of them have the mysterious moniker, no name. That's a carryover from my iPhone 3 and iPhone 4. Now I'm at a success. What you're watching now is on a success. And have success with your success. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, and many of them are from when I lived out west, and I know that that person has, uh, has, has moved. They don't have the same phone number anymore. Well, I'll keep it just so I remember to be in touch with them. 
kitty stare. Please give me a break. Go through them. Delete them. And voicemails. Okay, nothing more annoying, especially if you're an entrepreneur, than somebody getting your getting your voicemail and they can't leave a voicemail for you. You've just lost money from a potential client. Okay, so delete those voicemails. Go through, delete. Uh, don't you don't need to spend all day on deleting your contacts. And we're going to tell you a quick strategy for that on, I believe it's. It's Thursday or Friday, but you don't have to do them all all at once. Just a few minutes at a time. I just did, okay, I'm going to delete five contacts a day. Keep it simple. That's what we're all about here at Declutter the Brain is keep it simple. Am I right, Michael? Yeah, 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 yeah. And texts. Oh, they take up a lot of space. And what I learned is the photos that are on in your photo app are not the only photos on your phone. Buddy yesterday sent me a, um, a video from out west. Uh, he's visiting from where I'm from in Banff and he sent me a two minute video. Jesus, I appreciate it very much bro, but um, that's taking up space on the phone. You have so many photos in those text messages and Facebook messages. Yeah, go through them. Make sure that they are gone or archived on your computer, what have you. They're hidden. These hidden things are taking up storage. Trust me from someone who knows. Well, we already know that. Well, good, then I'm reminding you, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but uh, my mentor, David Fagan, um, uh, he's he is the inspiration for this for for these series on on declutter your tech, and it's uh, it, he's right. It's uh, we have to start addressing decluttering your tech, and your phone is with you all the time. Let's start with that, shall we? You'll feel cleaner. You'll feel less weighted down. All right, so. Um, if you enjoyed this video, just hit that share button. You don't know who could be feeling overwhelmed by their phone. I know, I know, it seems silly, but trust me, there are some days, would, would you, are there not, that you can feel overwhelmed by watching the cat walk across the floor. You, you know, just everything rubs you the wrong way. So just uh, hit that share button. You don't know who you're going to help. Um, if you're curious as to... Uh, hairstyles from a previous life or uh, videos that I've made on a wide variety of topics just go to YouTube hit declutter the uh, type in declutter the brain and we are there cataloged organized uh, for your uh, shopping quick convenience <laughs> you don't shop on YouTube I know um, and, and yes we're even improving that that organizing because what else would you expect from your thought organizer. Uh, all right, so um, do you just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back? Do you want to feel productive at the end of the day, but super, uh, not, not busy productive, but productive in the right things that you really needed to get done? And with these shorter days, I tell you, you've got less time to do it. Uh, shorter daylight hours, I should say. Okay. When I promised you one step and one step I shall give you. Down, uh, scroll down in in the notes. Download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. It's intended as a grounding tool for your declutter journey and beyond. And while you're there, go ahead and click that book a call button and book your conquer the chaos button and uh, listen to hear what your clutter could actually be costing you a lot more than you think and gift you with a right now plan for jumpstart results. Jumpstart plan for right now results your choice. But now that you have decided to organize your space and your mindset, click that link below. Change your life today. All right, uh, tomorrow we talk about the age-old question, what is other anyway on your phone, we should say. Take care. Bye for now.